as they walked in, I looked at him and thought, Jamie's aged about 10 years. <laughs> I thought, what's happened? What's happened, Jamie? And what's happened? You're right. And he sat down and he said, you've got to listen to this, you ain't going to believe it. He said that he was laying in bed and then all of a sudden he just looked, woke up out of nowhere, just in his, in his, out of his sleep and just saw the curtain shimmering. Mm. And obviously in South Africa, there's monkeys and baboons in the hills and stuff. And he saw it shimmering and he said he looked down at the, the foot of his bed and he seen a baboon sitting there like this. Looking at him, he said. He said a, a sheet of a sheet of sweat just come over him. He said he didn't know whether he weed or pooed the bed. And he said the the, the baboon has just quite casually walked to the mini bar, gone in the mini bar and just cleared it out with all of the Pringles, the lot, the Twix, took it all, and just went up onto the veranda and just started munching. Who is the better blagger? Him. <laughs> we we're both from the state, so we can both blag. Who's most likely to win in a fight? Big man. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Out, we're, lo we're lovers, not fighters. Yeah. Calmer animal outside, a lion in the ring. Who out of you two is the better drinker? Whoa. Rio's took that mantle on. I can't remember. <laughs> From the age of 18 to 28, it's a blur for me. But <laughs> apparently, I was good. Who's the better drunk? I don't, we're not really drunk people, are we? We don't really get drunk like that. I'm quite funny drunk, he's angry drunk. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's kicked a few cab drivers out of <laughs> over the years. Okay, who takes longest to get ready? You. He's got to do his barnet, he's got to do his shirt, the collar's got to be in the right exactly. place and that. So how long have you guys known each other? Uh, about 20 years now. Rio, I want you to turn to Jamie right now. I want you to tell him what he means to you as a friend. Yeah, I think we talk a lot now. And I think I always know that if I've got anything on my chest, I can always turn to you, I can always speak to you. Um, we've had some deep conversations um, over the years. Good, bad, funny. Um, but I've always known that you always give me an honest um, assessment of where we are. But always at the end of it was like a, and this is how we can get out of it. And you give me that reassurance and that drive and, and that, that hunger again, that taste for going again. Even if I'm getting too big for my boots or whatever, I know that there's a conversation that we can have together to kind of get through a situation and come out the other side much better. And Jamie, same to you. I'm going to turn to Rio and tell him what he means to you as a friend. Yeah, he means everything. He's, um, like I say, 20 years, but in the last 10 years, uh, we've been through, through everything together. Um, and like I say, I know that need be, any given moment, any given hour, um, if I called upon him, he'd be there for me. And I've got no problem and I'm confident and don't see it as a weakness to ask him, whether that's for advice, uh, work, business, or just being a friend, or if I've got something on my chest, um, I see it as a positive to, to ask him, because I know that the minute I ask him, um, I feel better for it. When was the last time you said something like you just did? To be honest, yeah, we have quite a few chats, to be honest, yeah. we, Jane will say, listen, do you fancy a steam? And I know he's got something on his mind then. We'll go for a steam or a sauna, and we'll sit there for an hour or two and just chat about everything. And I know when going into the steam room then, it's going to be a serious chat. So it's not uncommon between us. But I think over the from years gone by, that would have been a bit of an awkward conversation. Coming from footballing backgrounds, we were kind of like a closed book. It's very competitive, um, it's alpha male. You don't want to give anybody the edge. So until we really um, spoke and when we really sat down and, and discussed an issue that he had, and I could see that he was a sort of a broken man, I could see a kind of after the conversation that there was kind of like a rewiring moment where I could see the kind of the, his body kind of rebuilding and, and I could see that he was a better person for it. And that's encouraged us since that day to, to, to have, have, have conversations and, and openly speak before the matter goes too far. 